If you have already subscribed, then click the bell icon to get instant notifications when I put a new video up. Do it now. What's up guys, I am Rob. Welcome to my channel. I see you guys have been doodling a lot. I absolutely love it. I love all the enthusiasm and the participation you guys have been showing in our Doodle Everyday series. You guys have been making amazing doodles and sending them to me. I'm loving it. Oh, by the way, if you don't know what I'm talking about, then you can head straight to my Instagram page and you can check it out. That's my handle. And while you're there, please follow me. Also, you can follow me on my vlog channel. So I was going through all the comments on the doodling video on YouTube and also on Instagram and what I noticed was that a lot of you mentioned that you guys are finding it a little difficult to draw with your finger on your phone and you want to know if there is a way to make a stylist at home. So guess what? I read your comments and guess what? I fulfill your request. So today we are making a homemade stylist. So get ready, it's time for some DIY. Why? Because I love it. Why not? We're making a stylus at home. Can't get better than that. Love it! All right, guys, so let's make a stylus. But before we make a stylus, I'm going to show you guys how a stylus works using this ordinary pen. Okay, so you can see this is a regular ordinary ballpoint pen but if this was stylus, the body would be made of metal and it would have a conductive rubber or foam tip from where you can draw, write or operate your phone. What happens is your body can store electrical charge, static electricity and that is transferred through your finger to your mobile or tablet surface. Now that surface is basically sensitive to that electrical charge and then you can operate it or you can write or draw. So in a stylus, the body is metal. So you're transferring that electrical charge to the metal and through that metal, it goes on to the conductive Tip. So what we have to do is we have to create or make a similar setup or device that can basically take the charge from your hand to the tip. So I'm going to show you guys how you can do that. So now you can make a stylus using a regular pen or even a pencil, right? So I'm going to show you guys two different ones. So first we'll do with a pen. So like you can see here, this is a regular ordinary ballpoint pen. So what we'll do is first we'll remove the refill because we don't need that. We are going to make a different tip. So now we have just this plastic body. Now plastic is not a good conductor for electricity. So we have to figure out how to transfer the charge. For that, I am going to use some electrical wire. This is your regular electrical wire, which has a copper wire inside. So I'm gonna take a small piece from this wire. To cut it, I'm using regular scissors. Now what we'll do is, we'll make a small cut on this. Now make sure when you're making this cut, you don't cut through the copper wire. We are just cutting the top layer, which is this plastic cover, the insulation. And we will remove the insulation. There you go, you can see we have this copper wire inside. Now for our stylus, we just need one strand. So you can just pull one out. Now we'll take one end of this wire and we'll bend it a little like this. And we'll put it right here in this hole, the tip of the pen, and then take it to the other side, flip it and then Put the other end right here on the other end of the pen and then we take this part 
and just lock it in place. Now you can just twist it. Okay, so you can see with a little bit of struggle, I managed to push this in. So now there is a copper wire running through the pin on the outside with one end going right here in the front hole, the tip of the pin and the other end going on the back end right here. So now what you have done is you have made this pin conductive to the electrical charge and now the charge can transfer from your hand through this wire to the tip of the pen. Now I am using this plastic pen so I am doing this whole wire mechanism but if you manage to find a metal pen then you don't need to do this. All you need to do is make a tip and through that metal body the charge will transfer from your hand to the pen. But because it's very difficult to find a metal pen I went looking I couldn't find any so I'm showing you guys this alternate technique of using a plastic pen. Now we need to make the tip. Now to make the tip I am going to use cotton. This is just regular cotton. So I'm going to take a small piece maybe smaller than that and we will just roll it actually even smaller and now what you need to do is take some water and just dip your finger in water and then roll this again so what we're doing here is we are wetting the cotton a little bit because again water is a great conductor for electrical charge so let the cotton absorb the water a little bit don't dip this in water we need to apply very little water and now we will slowly push this inside our pen tip and once it is in you can just use the scissors again and just cut it and shape it like a small tip so now you have a small soft conductive tip and you can use this like a stylus to operate your phone or draw on it so let's test this out so here's my phone and here's our stylus all you have to keep in mind is that you have to keep touching the wire at all time because that's how you are sending that static electrical charge from your body to this screen which is sensitive to that electrical charge and here I am in my Instagram app and just try and draw with this look at that draws really smoothly perfect so here we made a stylus out of a ballpoint pen and now I'm going to show you guys how you can make a stylus out of a pencil. Let's do that. Alright, so now I'm going to show you guys the second option, how you can convert a pencil into a stylus. Now obviously there is no hole here at the tip, so you can't insert the cotton here. So for that we have to figure out a different method. What I feel is that a Q-tip or an earbud is a very good alternative. So what we'll do is, we'll take an earbud and we will cut it so you can see i have the earbud here and a small piece of the plastic tube maybe i should cut it slightly smaller now we take the pencil and we will insert it in this plastic tube or pipe so there you go now your pencil has a soft tip now you can see this won't stay here it's a little wobbly so for that we will use some sticky tape and we will stick this in place okay nice and steady so there you go we have secured this in place now you can see we have a soft tip but the pencil is made of wood which is not a good conductor so now to transfer that electrical charge we need something metallic so either you can use a wire or you can use some aluminum foil so here i have a piece of some aluminum foil this is your regular 
um, aluminum foil that you use in your kitchen to wrap your food. So you can just take a small piece of that and now we will just roll it over the pencil. But what you have to keep in mind is that the aluminum foil should touch the tip of the earbud, basically touching the cotton because you want the charge to transfer from your hand to the aluminum foil and from the foil to the tip of the stylus, which is this cotton earbud. Now we'll use some sticky tape and just secure it in place. There you go. And with that, you have converted this pencil into a stylus. Now, before you start using it, we have to do the same thing. We have to make this cotton uh, a little more conductive. And once the earbud is nice and wet, your stylus is good to go. Then all you need to keep in mind is that when you're holding it, you should always be touching the aluminum foil because that's how the charge gets transferred to it. And then from that to the cotton bud and your stylus will work. Let's test this out. So there you go guys, that's a cheap and simple way of making a homemade stylus. I know it's not the best but it's great to start with and it's so simple you know you can make it at home and it will definitely help you instead of using a finger now you can hold a pencil or a pen and have a better grip of drawing some doodles. So now I'll be waiting for some more amazing and awesome doodles from you guys. So if you enjoyed watching this video and found this tutorial helpful then don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up like it share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel you know the deal right and if you're following me here then also please follow me on my vlog channel subscribe to that too there <laughs> that's it guys i'll see you guys in my next video until then like i always say do good and be good peace